This is Monkey World in Dorset, the largest ape and monkey rescue centre on the planet. Today on Monkey Life. Orangutan youngster Xiao Ning goes crazy on too much sugary fruit. But little chimp Eddie will be lucky if she gets her hands on any treats at all. And animal manager Jeremy prepares to take a huge risk to help adult male chimpanzee Jimmy. I reckon I can go in with him. Monkey World is home to 15 different species of apes and monkeys. With this many primates, medical emergencies are inevitable. 23-year-old Jimmy has a nasty leg infection, and no one knows what caused it. The keepers try to clean it every day, but it's not easy through the mesh. Jim leg. Jim leg. So animal manager Jeremy has a plan. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is to try and you know move on so that he'll let me have his leg so I can bathe it better than you know than through the mesh. It's very difficult to give treatment to wild animals. Male chimpanzees are up to six times stronger than an adult man. <laughs> Jimmy could cause Jeremy serious harm. The door has been opened just a few inches, enough for Jeremy and Jimmy to make physical contact. But the staff are on standby as Jimmy could decide to push the door open further and the situation could become very dangerous. Me leg. No, that's your good arm. I want your bad leg. I you want your bad leg. Yes, I do. Jimmy and Jeremy need to earn each other's trust, and grooming is the perfect way to do this. If I let him groom me, then he'll... Ideally, he'll let me groom him. And if I can do everything so he's, it isn't hurting him, then that's a good way of getting access to his leg so that I can actually put stuff on it. All animals are good at hiding pain. This protects them from showing weakness to others, so no one knows how much pain Jimmy might be in. His medication will help any discomfort, but if the wound itself doesn't begin to heal, the exposed bone will dry and he could lose his leg. Jeremy and the staff are doing everything they can to help. The thing is, me and Jimmy go back a long way. He was a part of the original A-team, if you like, the first Jim. You know, I've known Jimmy for 20 years. You know, the more we can, more we can help him, the, the better the chances are we can save the leg. What do you want? You want that? Did that go up your nose? <laughs> Did those bubbles go up your nose? <laughs> it's important that Jeremy can see the wound close up to see if it's responding to the treatment. Cleaning Jimmy's leg is a daily routine, but Jeremy tries to make it fun. And now Jimmy has even started to copy him. I gave him one of these yesterday and he actually dabbed his own leg with it, but with nothing on it, just with an empty swab. See? Yeah, they go. See? He dabs his own leg with it. If you want to do it yourself, that's fine with me. I'm going to try anything here. I'm renowned for it. You know, you'd be bound to be cautious about letting somebody touch something that hurts, so I've just got to convince him that it doesn't hurt. And this is a reasonable request to let me pick your scab and, <laughs> and dab you with iodine and all that sort of stuff. Later, the team fear Jimmy's infection could be getting worse, so Jeremy must get a swab from it. But this means the door between them is going to have to be opened even further. <laughs> He knows I want that swab, so he's not playing. And in the Orang nursery, Xiao Ning shows she's boss when it comes to getting hold of the treats. <laughs> the
This morning in Paddy's Chimp Group, there's an air of excitement. Breakfast is on its way, and it's coming pre-packed. The yoghurts and wheat snacks are healthy, and the packets that they come in are challenging and interesting. This breakfast is a special treat, and Paddy knows it. He takes advantage of his position as top chimp to grab as much as he can, as quickly as he can. Chimpanzees live in a strict hierarchy. Those at the top get the most, those at the bottom, the least. And there's one small chimp who's determined not to be at the bottom. Running as fast as her legs will carry her, here comes Eddie. In the wild, it's natural for youngsters to beg for food from adults. And as the youngest of the group, Eddie's a begging professional. Her first target, Cindy. And poor low-ranking Mickey isn't having any luck at all. Hebe is also one of the youngsters of the group and having some of the same difficulties as Eddie. Meanwhile, Eddie's busy targeting the soft touches in the group. Next up, Beth. But Beth's a tougher prospect than Eddie thought. She's not getting anywhere with her. Hebe's landed herself a banana. She'd better eat up before someone takes it off her. Eddie's struck out twice, and she's not used to failure. It's time to get serious, so she targets Zoe. And the tactic pays off. At 24, Zoe is a mature lady, and these days she likes an easy life, even if that means giving up some of her goodies. Eddie's no fool. If no one else is falling for her techniques, she can always rely on Zoe. And now she's struck lucky, she's not about to share with anybody. Back in the chimpanzee bedrooms, animal manager Jeremy has returned to see Jimmy. He needs to get a swab from Jimmy's infected leg for analysis. Today, the adult male will just not let the keepers near his wound for treatment, and they're concerned that the infection may get worse. So far, the door between them has only been slightly open, but now it will be opened fully. It's nerve-wracking, as now there will be no barriers between the pair. I reckon I can go in with him. This is a very dangerous situation. Jeremy has 34 years' experience working with animals and has developed a unique relationship with them. But going in with youngsters is very different from being face-to-face -face with an adult male chimp. So far, Jimmy has been placid, but this could change at any moment. No one knows if he's in pain. If he is, he could get agitated. And he's been known to be aggressive in the past. <laughs> But as there's still a chance that he could lose his leg, Jeremy will do all he can to help. And to do that, he has to get closer. Armed with goodies, Jeremy's confident that opening the door fully is the right thing to do. You're not having, no, you're not having all of it. No. Right, open it all the way. But it's been a long time since the two have been in together, and Jeremy is nervous. We've got banana. There's a banana. How's your leg? Eh? Now, I have not been in with him for probably 17 years or so. So, but, you know, this isn't... I just haven't opened the door and walked in. This is something I've been building up to for... for I have. Look, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, you're not going to hurt me, are you? No, because we're mates, aren't we? Are we mates? Yes, you're supposed to say... You, you didn't do the right thing then, did you? Hey, don't put your, my hand in your mouth. I don't play that way. No, don't worry, this is all mine. This is, this is all my stuff in here. You don't have it any. No, it's all mine. It's all mine. Although Jeremy isn't completely inside the room, standing in the doorway is every bit as dangerous. But he stays focused on getting the swab he needs. He's 
on loads of antibiotics, but maybe he's not on the right antibiotic at the moment, so we need to get a sample so the laboratory can identify what we're dealing with and, and prescribe the right, the right antibiotic for it. So that's my mission today, assuming Jimmy's playing ball. He is, actually, he's getting a little bit, so, I mean, he doesn't want people messing with his leg, obviously, but he's getting a little bit more, even, even more sensitive. No, excuse me, you're going back in there. You're not, no, no, you're not coming in here. No, you stay there. I'm here, you're there, OK? Yes. No, it's no good doing that. That's the last bit of that. Can I just have this one stab of your leg? Just a little stab. Just a little stab. Go on, let me stab it. Go on, just a stab. Go, give me your leg. Give me a leg. Give me a leg. I'm going to stab it. Hey, what? Can I just put that in your leg? No, you mustn't touch it. No, Jay, no, no, get out. Get him back in there. Go on. No, come on, give me a leg. Give me a leg. No, this is, this is Jeremy Land. See that line there? Don't come past it, all right? This is my pack. Come here. Come on. Jimmy knows what Jeremy is after and starts playing up. Don't get all sensitive on me. He knows I want that swab, so he's not playing. Later, yes. will Jeremy get the swab he needs from Jimmy's leg? Jimmy, don't blame me if your leg falls off. And Eddie still may be the youngest of the group, but it's time for her to take the next step into adulthood. She's six and a half years of age now, so it's been agreed that we'll put her on the pill as we did with Hebe when Hebe was six. At Monkey World in Dorset, animal manager Jeremy is on a mission to get a swab from let chimpanzee stab. Jimmy. Go on, let me stab it. Go on, just a stab. Go, give me your leg. Give me your leg. Give me your leg. Jimmy has an ulcerated leg wound and doesn't want anyone touching it. He's on medication, but the infection could be growing. The team need a swab to find out. He knows I want that swab, so he's not playing. Jimmy. The adult male was happy to hang out with Jeremy by the doorway, but now he's moved into another room. Jimmy. And not even treats are tempting him back in. What's this? This? Hello? You, you tart. Come over here. Jimmy. I can see you. I'll do a little pyramid with them. Jimmy. I'm looking. Don't blame me if your leg falls off. Help. Frustrated, oh. Jeremy oh. opts for a bit of chimp speak. Oh. 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 Which seems to perk up Jimmy's interest. That's easy for you to say. Is that it? Is that your final word on the matter? Or do you want time to think? Throwing a friend or something like that. Well, I don't blame him. You know, a nasty wound like that with somebody jabbing a swab into it isn't very pleasant, is it? No. Oh, well, you just want to play silly games now, don't you? You just want to play silly games just because you're a silly, silly boy. Yes, you are. Yes. Oh. Oh. Jimmy's now distracted by his favourite yoghurt. God, I'm good. It's all a learning curve. I mean, he was as nervous as I was to start with, but now, now it's... He's getting... We're getting more relaxed together, but equally I mustn't let him be in charge, otherwise it's... Uh, you know, you mustn't let it get too familiar, otherwise it'll, it'll end in tears and they'll probably be mine. They'll definitely be mine. You, 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 you want to play rough games, and then when you get rough, you'll soon realise that I'm a little wimp. I'm not nearly as strong as you. You are ready to 
on that slide to close it quickly if needs be. <laughs> Jeremy's mission has gone well, but a reminder of Jimmy's size and strength is never far away. I'm not going to be in here for much longer because you want to come through here now, don't you? And I don't want you through here with me. So if I give you that coke in there and then Lee closes the door, then that'll be good. Won't it? No. There we go. Well, Lee, close the door. <laughs> there you go. It'll be a few days before the results of the swab come back. Then the team will know if the wound can heal and if Jimmy will keep his leg. Later, there's planning to be done as young chimp Eddie fast approaches adulthood. What we don't want to happen is at her age, such a young age, is have her get pregnant. Today, the nursery orangutans are getting a real treat. Papaya. First to spot the fruit is newcomer, Linga. She's only been at the park for a few weeks, but she's already one of the gang. In the wild, fruit is a large part of the orang's diet, and papaya is high in vitamin C and a good source of fibre. But it's also high in sugar, which affects these apes just like it does humans, especially Xiao Ning. With fruit placed around the enclosure, all of the orangs should get a chance to try some, but the little ones are going to have to be quick. Xiao Ning finds some in her favourite spot. And Ah Mei can't shake off Jolie quick enough. Ah Mei is usually a mother figure to the youngsters, but today the papaya is more important. In the wild, fruiting trees bring mothers and their young together. When food is plentiful, it gives them a chance to spend time together and bond. But at the park, Xiao Ning's not wasting any time with pleasantries. She's even prepared to swipe a piece off her sister. Getting away with the big bit and leaving her sister with the rind. It looks like Xiao Ning's experiencing the beginnings of a sugar rush as she heads off to find more. Aris, on the other hand, is totally stuffed. And Dinda, who's finally got a piece to herself, is feeling very content. It's time to relax with her new best friend, Linga. While Xiao Ning acts as a reminder why too much sugar in the afternoon is not always a good thing for youngsters. Over in Paddy's chimp group, youngster Eddie is not so young anymore. She's losing her baby status and the privileges that come with it, much to her annoyance. Her family is already starting to treat her more like an adult. And the primate care staff are also having to adapt. Eddie, come on. Come and get this, come on. It's a big day today. Um, Eddie, she's, she's just, you know, she's six and a half years of age now. Um, she started having small little swellings, um, so it's been agreed with the team leader, Alison and the vet, um, that we'll put on the pill as we did with Hebe, when Hebe was six. When a female is in season, the skin around her rump swells pink and acts as a visible signal to the male chimps that she's ready to mate. Monkey World likes to have room for other primates that need rescuing, so usually operates a non-breeding policy. So now they're going to have to exercise caution as Eddie is nearing the crucial age of reproduction. It's usually round about the age of eight or ten they can start to come into reproductive and start having babies. She's only six and a half. 
Uh, we've started the pill now because she's getting swellings. But what we don't want to happen is that saying another year's time when she's seven and a half, where she's possibly she could get pregnant, is at her age, such a young age, is have her get pregnant. The female chimps used to have contraceptive coils inserted into the uterus, but sometimes the body would reject them, meaning the chimps were not protected against pregnancy. That's why, you know, little Eddie's here now, through mishaps on the contraception. So, Monkey World is now using the human contraceptive pill on chimpanzees. Because um, obviously there's no medical background on, on tests. Um, with chimpanzees, and so far it has proved um, to have worked really well. But just as with human females, taking the contraceptive pill is not always straightforward. If any of the females become ill and we need to treat with antibiotics, we need to keep a very close eye on those females because antibiotics can have a reverse effect on the contraceptive pill. Eddie will now take her pill every day at the same time with a drink of her favourite juice. Good girl. Next time, chimpanzee yeah. Brian gets a painful lesson when he goes outdoors for the first time. Obviously, he's got to learn the electric fence. Good boy. Woolly monkey Julio also takes his first steps outside. And in Paddy's chimp group, Lee gets hands-on with Susie. Is she pregnant for the second time? <laughs>